Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where I maybe should have waited to get Kasumi because we, had, we did it a lot in that episode. I feel kind of bad. I'm trying to think of what my thumbnail is going to be now <laughs> when we did two very important things. Kasumi's was much shorter though, but doing the whole Aria thing is really important too. Um, so I was trying to decide if we should go ahead and run around in the Citadel. Yeah, let's run around for this in the Citadel for a bit. This recruits is a 20 kilo Ferris slug. Feel the weight every five seconds. Oh, yeah, we can hear this. Class accelerates one to one. I mean, they used to. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, they would kind of load the area in. So sometimes, at least this is what I remember, they would be like, oh, sorry, the scanner's acting up again because I'm, I was technically dead and the system's kind of weird about it. So when they would load in the area, they would he would say something like, oh, sorry, it's doing it again. But now it goes really fast. What's up? Yes? How'd you end up working on the Citadel? I started with the Alliance way back when, but the traveling was killing me. It's a shitty life if you're trying to raise a family, seeing your kids every six months. I joined C-Sec so I could stay in one place, put down roots. You like life here on the Citadel? Eh, life here is good. Hell of a lot different than life back on Earth. I miss the food, mostly. You just can't get sockeye salmon here on the station. You ever get back there? Earth, every couple of years, less and less all the time. But when I finish my stint with C-Sec, there's a nice little place in the foothills I'm gonna retire to. Not that I'm retiring anytime soon. Uh. I should be going. You need anything else? I love that you can just like walk up and you're like, hey, why'd you join CZAC? And he's like, mm, let me tell you. And it's like, what? So we went over there to my fave, to my actual favorite store on the Citadel. <gasps> my fish are probably dead. My fish are probably dead. Okay. I heard that those lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. No, they're not. <laughs> you ever went up there? No. CSEC won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Uh, they think every Krogan is dangerous. Damn Turians. We should kill them all. I mean, <laughs> they're maybe not wrong, but also it's very racist to not let a Krogan up. <laughs> like, what the heck? What? Continue your education. It's one thing to know how to shoot a gun, but do you have the career skills to deploy and manage today's high-tech network infrastructures? The Henley Technical Institute can help. Courses available through our oh. website will put you on the path to success. Visit our site now at keywords Henley Technical Education. I wonder if it just like uh, it's an advertisement you can walk up to. And it will like scan like your biochip or whatever and know who you are and address you directly. <laughs> That's weird. You guys talk? No. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel. Ascension. By the several lives warped or destroyed by the human survivalist cult Cerberus. Revelations. These are actually real books. Uh, written by Drew Carption, who is the lead writer of um, Mass Effect 1 and 2. Traumatizes human conflict and political expansion following the 2148 discovery of the Prothean mass relay on Pluto. Sure, let's get them all. All of them. I don't know why he has books, but he does. He's got high-grade provisions and some human books. Why is there so many entries? Oh my gosh. We could listen to the news. We could listen. This thing, I don't know. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale. Aww. Only slightly. Look. Dangerous. 
I've never figured out the purpose of this place. At least I'm pretty sure I haven't. Hiroshimas! You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back mm -hmm. on Earth. What can I get you? Mm, the meat isn't fresh out here, but you won't find any better dried seaweed on the station. Uh, uh huh. Okay. <laughs> El Corvolus. Oh, yeah. This clanless is a thief, and I want her arrested. What? I was just walking by. I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not! Just because I'm a quarian! I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking <laughs> me, Earth Clan. Oh no. Just because the Vol Clan need. It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. And he's like, Ugh. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what quarians are like. <laughs> She's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do you with her. <laughs> they don't even see that many quarians, and they're like so terrible. Everybody's terrible to them. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn shit. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible that Chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Do you spend a lot of time at the used ship dealer? Yeah. They've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... A ship would make a great pilgrimage gift. You know about the pilgrimage? <laughs> She's like, what? I traveled with Quarian, who was on hers. I... Wow. I didn't know anyone here would do that for one of us. We're not all jerkwads and ignorant a-holes. You say she stole your credit shit? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. How does running into you mean she stole your credit shit? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling She's your She's taller pockets. than you. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians, thieves, all of them. They get their stuff fair and square. Like, let's be honest here. Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. Uh -huh. You think I'd make a mistake like uh -huh. that? I didn't even buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Ma'am, this is a C-Sec matter. Yeah, well. We'll do all we can. All we can to resolve this. <laughs> we don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. Well, you're obviously not being... Be careful out there. You're not being unbiased. You know what I mean? Like, you're a bad person for this. What do you think, Michael? Maybe the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. We can get whatever you'd like, for little Jake, Rebecca. Wait, the immuno booster can delay muscle development in high gravity environments. What if that hurts him? So I don't know if we did. I don't think we actually. The nerve enhancements say that there are occasional motor control side effects. Jake loves to run. What if it makes him fall down? Jake is fine, Rebecca. He's a perfectly healthy toddler. Did we encounter these guys in Mass Effect? I don't think we did. There's like a whole, this is like a whole running thing. Man, I miss, I keep missing so much <laughs> in these games. Um, but these two, we can interfere in an argument they're having in Mass Effect 1 about um, she's pregnant with like her, you know, a, a son and her husband died. And like, I don't know, she, she like doesn't want to get this like vaccine or something that... Um, could like prevent the same heart condition that her husband died of with him and this guy is the guy's brother her husband's brother um and he wants her to get it because you know he doesn't want to lose the baby but she's like there's like a 0.1 percent chance he could die from the shot or whatever like like in utero you know 
and it's just this whole thing, and uh, it would have been very apropos, actually, to, like, run into that in today's day and age, um, but you can convince them one way or the other what to do, uh, and I always convince her to take it, because, uh, why not, you know what I mean? It's, like, the, like, I don't know, there's... So I don't even know if it's, like, a chance of, like, him dying. It's, like, a chance of, like, him, like, the baby, like, I don't know, getting autism or whatever, which is, like, the argument people always try to use about, like, not getting their kids vaccinated because they're like, what if they get autism? And it's, like, A, that doesn't happen. B, if they did, would you love them any less? If so, you're a terrible parent. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, like, I don't know. It's, uh, I always convince her to get it, because, like, it's better, it's better to be safe, and, like, the chance is so small that something bad will happen, and, like, this could cure the heart, because the baby does have the heart disease that the dad does, um, so it could complicate the birth, and, like, potentially the kid could die, just that way, right? So, like, you, you have, like, a, a small chance of potential death or complications if you give them the vaccine, but a higher chance of potentially, like, you know, dying if you, like, with, with the heart problem. So, I don't know, anyway, I always convince her to take it, which is kind of weird, <laughs> and I think they even say, where it's like, who are you to, like, barge in to this conversation of a very personal nature, you know? And it is weird to, like, just barge into somebody's, like, very personal <laughs> conversations. <laughs> but, uh, anyway. There are, you see them again in Mass Effect 3, so I'm, oh, man, I'm upset. I keep missing things. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation Outlet on Zakir Award. I couldn't help but notice your prices. They seem a bit steep. With respect, the Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. You know, it would make your services more popular. An endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren. Oh my! You're Shepard, aren't you? I would be glad to give you my employee discount if you would do that for I'm us. I'm a sellout. It's a deal. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I'm a such a sellout. I'll work it into our advertising at once. Thank you. Also, she's like, we're not, we're not concerned about profit. I'm like, shut up. You're, you're a corporate business. Like, it's all you care about. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakir Award. Uh -huh. Of all this was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chip? And not that I saw. He didn't purchase anything. Bye. Oh, uh, yeah, no, it's fine. Thanks for your time. Come back soon, Shepard. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I don't have enough money for any of this. I just... He's my baby. I'm Commander Shepard. I trust you, Michael. What medical upgrades do you want to get for him? I don't know. Maybe we should ask random people on the street. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting the immuno booster. And a drink. <laughs> so I think I think I messed up on that conversation a little bit, but like I think. What do you think, Michael? Maybe the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. Yeah. Get whatever you like for little Jake, Rebecca. Wait, the immuno booster yeah, okay. can delay muscle No, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's the that's the call out. <laughs> I think we should ask random people on the street. <laughs> So which tech module are we supposed to get? With confusion, I thought you did. What? No. All I heard Varanis say was, pick up a module. Welcome to Saranus Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know mm. you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure, pleasure to have you here. <sighs> I'd like Ooh, to buy whoops. something. Oh, it's all automated these days. There's a catalog interface over there. Yeah, uh, which does make you kind of go, what's your job? If everything's automated, why are you here? Customer service. Sweeping out the store, carefully explaining things to the technologically <laughs> illiterate. It's stunning how many people think that light moves faster through expensive fiber optic cables than it does through cheap ones. Uh huh. I'd like oh, to buy dang, something. I messed up. Oh, oh it's yeah. all automated these days. There's a. You know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point and go nav interfaces, anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, "Why is the ship turning around?" Saeed's <laughs> nodding. <laughs> oh, oh my would. gosh. You know, I like your oh. products. 
Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Sarah? <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'd be thrilled, but I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Saeed's like, you, Absolutely. you monster. <laughs> just speak it in my console You monster. Here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store in the Citadel. I feel like he's gonna that murder me. That would be splendid. I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. I feel like the fact that it's Zaid that keeps showing up by- Oh, look at this is Garrus's new armor. I do actually like it more now that I see it in person. <coughs> anyway, the fact that Zaid's got like that eye and that scar and that like resting, you know, angry face. And then he's just like nodding his head, like going along with my little scam. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Ah, my favorite customer. What can I get you? A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chip? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chip. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. I didn't realize he'd left till he's already gone. Like, okay. Thanks for okay. your time. <laughs> I'll be here if you need anything. What do you have? Oh, I... Do I like that one? Uh... Uh, I do, but I don't. Oh, excuse, oh, excuse, oh, excuse me. There's more Elcor. It's so fun. <coughs> Sorry, I got my booster shot the other day. I felt her hand go into my. Uh, you wish. When I checked, my credit chit was gone. I didn't even touch you. Please move along. You forgot your credit shit at Saranus Applications. The clerk's holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarium could have Oh my it. gosh. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? Yeah, no. What? You apologize to her. You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it. Now just a I could drop kick you. you. She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy. How about if I run you in for obstruction Please of justice? Please try. You think you're gonna run in a specter? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... The thing is, is... Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. Like, uh, freaking, you, you can't, like, that's, none of them are gonna change. None of them care. N neither of them feel guilty about what they did. Like, he was being a blatantly racist cop, which, oh my gosh, like, we have to deal with that now, right? Like, not just now, but, like, even more, like, in the front public eye now. But it's just like, <sighs> <laughs> and then this guy, other, the little Volus, just like, I don't know, like, the seaside guy, it's worse, right? Because, like, it's your job to protect everybody. And, like, yeah, she doesn't have a permanent residence, but, like, there's so many, like, and then it's, like, you know, like, about, I guess, like, the kind of homeless people thing, where it's, like, you're a vagrant, blah, blah, blah. It's, like, do you realize how many people on the Citadel are probably vagrants? Like, technically, like, they don't have, like, a permanent address, like... And, like, yeah, the big thing here, too, is that, like, she had just been insulted and harassed by this guy for, like, no reason. And then the freaking cop is like, you know, well, I'm just, just gonna say I'm gonna throw you into jail if you don't get a permanent residence. It's like, what the? What the hell was that CSEC guy's problem? He had no evidence that you did anything wrong. I don't know. Everyone's been like that since I got here. I probably should have been nicer, like, been, like, taking the middle option to reassure her. Um, she does say, though, I think you take the middle option. It's like, are you gonna be okay? She's like, you know, well, I've, you know, I've got some, some, because Turi, or Quarians have very specialized food diets, so she has, like, some food tubes and, like, a little plate, like, a little corner she can, like, go in to sleep. I don't know if I can help her. Wouldn't a refreshing I just got a refund in exchange, and I was supposed oh. to pick up the here. I don't think you have the right place. No, they said to go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse. It's a warehouse, as it said in the subtitles, not the warehouse. Look, it took me a long time to get this refund. It's a Cision Omnigel Converter. He said there'd be one waiting Meh. for me. Do you have a service order? No, I got the refund, made the exchange, and then he said go to the warehouse. I just talked to him on the wards market. He said yeah. he'd never come <laughs> on. Why do I need a service order? The wards market? Why would you come to a Zakara ward warehouse? He said they're out of stock, and I should go here. He didn't say anything about a service order. Without a service order, I really can't help you. 
This is the guy that we did see in a... Uh... Wait, this was a trick, wasn't it? He sent me to the wrong place just to get me to leave. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that. Been trying to get this refund for two <laughs> years. Two years! I'm not giving up now. You'd get a lot farther in life if you just held on to your service or... <laughs> You'd get a lot further in life if you held on to your service orders and receipts. Safari. I just got a refund in exchange. Yeah. I was told to pick up a new on the I don't think, I don't think we, we can right go place. in here yet. No, they said to go to the warehouse. This Hi. No, nope, not yet. Not, nothing yet. Okay. It's so shiny. This game is so pretty. Anyway, that's the guy that we did see in Sakara Award. Uh, or no, in the awards market. Um, you could really go for a Tupac In Mass Effect 1. Uh, who was, like, constantly harassing that Turian guy for a refund. And I think it ended up being, like, a toaster or something. I don't know. Oh, I'm so mad I missed the dang nab. Yeah. With our Unification Day special, you can get up to two thousand. I'm so mad I back. missed the, the vaccination thing. You have six kinds of beer on tap. That's it. Am I trying to go? Can I go? Maybe I can't go down further. Hang on. I am at the factory district. I think. Am I? Oh no, I'm on. Oh. I. Uh, I think does it go 26 and then 27 is the one up the dog yeah it does CSAC office and citadel souvenir let's go to the dock okay just making oh yeah because it is that's all level 27 28 was where we haven't been yet I think we can, we can take the stairs to all of these too, but uh, I will say, as I've said in every Mass Effect, ooh, pretty. As I've said in every Mass Effect Two video I've ever made ever, uh, I don't like the color scheme for Mass Effect Two at all. Uh, the oh, it's like the people want to hear you. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on. Uh, the orange and green, like the sickly green and like the weird neon orange, not a good color combo in my opinion. Got time for the press, Shepard? Police have been seen in Al Jalani, Westerland News. Hmm. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became uh. a doctor. You presented your case very well on mm. camera. Do you have a minute? What, so you can try to do another smear job on me? Now, Shepard, you may object to my methods, but we're on the same I side. don't think we are. Your bath, your news. I just want to give your story. No, you just you. want clickbait. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. Zaid's like, give me out. <laughs> you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. The Turians lost 20 cruisers. Figure each had a crew of around 300. The Ascension, the Asari dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. But surely the human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers. Shen Yang. Emden, Jakarta, Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid, and yes, I remember I love that line. Everyone in the Fifth Fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medals. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so do you. Oh, yeah. Commander Shepard, first human specter. Hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check bid. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own Yeah, show. well, you deserve it. Because you try to bull rush everybody else on your show. This is the nice club, I think. I don't, I don't trust bartenders. Hey, this is open. Hear about anything interesting going on around <laughs> here? I serve drinks. You want to know what's going on? 
Check the news. I don't know why humans always. <laughs> I'm done for now. I love it. Let me know if you change your mind. I love it. Because it's that whole cliche like asking the bartenders for news, you know? I like it. It's a, it's a funny little call out. Something I can do for you? I noticed you're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. Do you know if there are fish in the lakes? I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind where's the restroom. Those are reservoirs, the Presidium's own supply, independent from the water storage tanks in the wards. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is the Laosanese gift shop. Gross. When I pour a glass of water, it's the same stuff tourists throw garbage in. No, oh, they purify it first. If some solarian or human bacteria gets left in, and a turian or quarian drinks it, they could die. Everything would be so much simpler if we all had the same DNA. But no, no. the universe loves diversity. Oh, that's so funny. Thanks for your time. No problem. If you get up to the Presidium, check out the DeMaio flowers across from the conduit. They're coming in very nice. Oh, he's such an, like, I don't know, just the kind of guy that really loves his job, you know? Is this even anything? What is, oh, a bathroom? <gasps> Is this a man's bathroom? Oopsie daisy. There's no stalls, you can only pee. Oh yeah, because I want to listen to the galactic news while I'm on the dance floor. Anyway, we came here for the fish guy. It's just a just a general everyday Joe who just enjoys his job. And I appreciate that. Oh, yeah, it is, guy. Yeah. Oh, wait, hang on. So what do you think? Maybe a shotgun? I like the assault rifle. It's like a non-stop barrage of death. If you can hit anything. <laughs> I haven't seen a weapon like that in ages. I was working with the Grim Angels, a small outfit that saw action in the Verge. Came up against some Krogan, all armed to the teeth. Well, all except the battle master. He came at us with one of those little pea shooters. <laughs> Killed half my squad. Damn. I still say we oh, dang it. Mm -hmm. They probably pay for our equipment. They probably only hire you if you look like you can fight. So we need something to start with. Right. Like the shotgun. <laughs> Do you think the Blue Suns have different commando training styles? Like one support group and one close quarters unit? You're gonna talk about the shotgun, uh... aren't you? I may have been heading in that direction. Yeah. <laughs> also, Zaid's amazing. What can I do for you? Hi. Your expeditions might be a little tame for me. Tame? A human can hardly take down a feral Varen, let alone a Shatha. Who do you think you are? Well, my name's Shepard, and I... The Shepard? The one that put down Saren Artemis? Oh. oh, you do know me. By the spirits. Shepherd, in my store. I don't suppose I could convince you to record an advertisement oh, for me. Oh, if you good. twist my arm. Can we work out a discount? A discount? I'd name my firstborn after you if you ask. Can we record it now? Just speak towards my console. I'm Commander Shepherd, and this is my favorite store on the And Citadel. yet somehow. Uh -huh. No other gun shop has that kind of endorsement. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. I think this is actually the one that I used for a while because I thought it was the cooler looking one. No, maybe not. Maybe it's not. <gasps> oh no, never mind. I guess. Oh, sure. These ones are like the cheaper, like, augment or module, like the module armor. Oh my gosh. I need money. I need money. <laughs> That's the thing, Mass Effect 1, you have all this money and you don't know what to do with it. In Mass Effect 2, they're like, here's all these things that you definitely want to get, like, 100%, and we're, but we're really just nerfing your ability to get money. <laughs> and it's like, no! But it is nice, right? Like, it means, like, you actually have to work for it, so. And it kind of paces out, like, your upgrades. Oh, anyway, I should call this one here again. So, uh, I hope you've all enjoyed our Citadel excursion. Uh, I'm, again, I'm sorry I keep missing things, apparently. <laughs>
but I don't know. I feel like when I first played Mass Effect, like the first time through, I somehow managed to get like everything all like I, I was very thorough, you know. But I think this is what happens when you play a game for the first time. You tend to be really, really thorough. And the second or third, fourth, fifth times, sometimes you can kind of like you just kind of get going. Like you kind of like you, you just like you try to hit like some of the main highlights and like some of the side quests that you like really like, you know. And then uh, you just kind of get in a like a, a groove, I guess, and you kind of forget some things. At least I do. I forget things all the time. Curse my freaking goldfish brain. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I wanted to... The, <laughs> bleh, sorry. Uh, this is the part of the video where I want to say thank you to my patrons. So uh, thank you so much, Scalamonger, one of my sapling tier patrons. And thank you, Reese Calito, another sapling tier patron. Thank you guys both for your support. I really appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Christopher, who is my tree tier patron, and who is the bestest. So uh, thank you so much again, Christopher. And thank you everybody for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.